Brandon, I'm here with Ian Degatta at the Murano Wine Festival. Ian, how does it look today? It looks great. I'm here with Federico Ceretto, one of Italy's most important wine producers, the Ceretto Estate. is well known for Barolo and Barbaresco, but also wonderful Dolcetto and Barbera, and many other wines, the famous Arnais Blanget. There's going to be over 6,000 people in three days here, and we're really happy. And we're going to get the day started off with some beautiful Barolo Bricorocche, Prabo, and... Uh, <laughs> and then we have a Sauvignon Blanc vertical, you said? And we're going to have a vertical Sauvignon from San Michele Piano. You and I are going to be there, and uh, we're going to go back to the early 90s, and it's one of Italy's best Sauvignons. Wow. Can't wait. Okay, it'll be fine. Cheers. Take care. Cheers. What's <laughs> your style when you make Barolo? You, you don't like... Is it... Because there's always been this talk about tradition versus modernism, and we've... That debate's over, you know? I mean, yeah. But what... What, what, what would you prefer? You, you don't like to have too much modernity or do you, are you more traditional? How would you describe yourself? Well, basically what's happening is um, um, uh, Barolo is discovering, uh, it's studying uh, in the last 20 years at Terroir in the Burgundy way, so the, the, the characteristic of the soil into the wine. So using too much of modernity or making too much of a step back into the uh, tight tradition uh, will not the ter will not let the terroir to express. So basically, what we are doing is that we are uh, um, uh, doing vinification by parcels. So each parcel will have his own uh, uh, vinification. We try to use uh, as less as uh, influence on the wine as possible. No selected yeast, uh, not uh, uh, high or low temperature fermentation. Something really natural. Fermentation happens natural, and the, and the wine has to develop. And the oak? How much oak? The oak uh, we do because Barol is a wine of a strong tannic extraction from the from the skin. So the oak we have to do malolactic fermentation in a French oak in French barrique. But then after one year we move the wine to finish the 24 months of uh, uh, aging and by the regulation by the appellation into large cask so it's not new oak it's not new oak yeah. uh, and it's not only barrique it's a uh, just uh, French barrique for the malolactic, but then the aging, uh, it's in large cask. In large cask, in, in stainless steel, or is it? No, it's, it's, uh, it has to be by law 24 months in uh, uh, aging. In uh, wood. In wood, okay. So the appellation lets you use uh, which kind of size you like and which kind of oak you like. Okay, I'm looking forward to trying your wines. Yes, come in. Okay, thank you.